Hi again! This video is about what changed during these past three and a few months. Three and four months that I've been in the, living in the UK. So I've done some previous videos about living in the UK, studying in the UK, expectations versus reality. So I'm gonna link all of them in the eye, which I think it's this side. I'm gonna li link the playlist of those videos here if you want to watch it. Yeah, this video is about like what changed within me and in my life as general, I don't know, whilst I've been living in the UK. So let's get started. First thing that changed is that I don't really care what I wear to go to the supermarket just to get like milk or hex or chocolate. I don't really care so I most likely go in my PJs and back when I was living in Portugal I wouldn't do that at all like even if I wasn't I was just going to my grandma's just to have lunch and then come back to my house I would get dressed up because you never know who's gonna see you in the streets but now after I've lived here this long I don't care anymore I go in my pajamas if, if I'm in Portugal and I just have to go to my grandma's house to get lunch I'll go in pajamas I don't care last time I didn't I even asked my mom if I could go because she wanted me to go to the supermarket with her so I said oh can I go in my PJs and she was like no Martha we're going to the supermarket you can't but I just don't care anymore like if I'm going out to have dinner with someone like out with the family or friends or whatever or if I'm going out for a coffee or if I'm uh, actually going out I obviously get dressed but if it's like things like going to my grandma's house just to have lunch or go to the supermarket I won't get dressed at all like I'll just go in my PJs or if I get changed I'll go in like sweats because I don't care. <laughs> Another thing that changed is as you know if you watch my bilingual struggles video which I'm gonna link it in the eye as well. I don't know Portuguese as much as I used to. Obviously I was born in Portugal I've lived there for 18, 19 years. Yeah, 19 years, oh my god. I've lived there for 19 years, so obviously I know the language, but after I came here, and like the first two years of university, I would say that I was still the same, and then my third year, since I didn't go to Portugal that much, and I used to only talk to my mom. Like I talked to my mom every day, but it was just her pr pretty much, and I talked in Portuguese, because even my housemates, I wouldn't see my Kurt, I was made that, that much so Antonio I would always speak with him like at the end I would always speak with him in English at the moment I'm I talk to my mom obviously and talk to my grandmas my grandparents like once in a while but in Portuguese but I mostly talk in English with my friends at work people at work Antonio even with my housemate I catch myself talking with her in English instead of Portuguese which is weird but it just happens naturally because I'm more used to talk English now than Portuguese. As I said in that video, I forgot a lot of words in Portuguese. Like I don't know how to say things in Portuguese sometimes, which is frustrating because I know I know them, but it just doesn't come to my mind. So yeah. Another thing that changed is that I used to buy things fresh instead of like frozen whilst I was in, in Portugal. And since I've been living here, I buy stuff frozen. I buy more st frozen stuff than fresh stuff because they can last me longer. I don't have to go to the supermarket as often, which is great. Yeah, also another thing about food is that I love soup, as most of you probably know if you know me. I love soup. Like, I love soup. I if there was only one thing that I could eat for the last the rest of my life it would be soup in the beginning I used to not do soup because I didn't know how to like I never cooked soup in well whilst I was in Portugal but in like I think it was like at the end or like in the beginning of the second at the end of the first year of the, or the beginning of the second year of uni that I started making soup and now I do one pretty much 
every week or every other week. So that obviously changed. Obviously I started cooking for myself more as well, but that wasn't much of a change because I used to cook my food back at home for the past like year and a half before I came here because I turned pescatarian at that time. So I used to cook for myself because obviously I wouldn't make my mom and my brother go pescatarian as well. Another thing that changed is when I used to go out in Portugal, I would rarely wear heels because I'm always the tallest around everyone else. I would rarely, like, rarely, if I wore like a dress like twice since I was, since I turned 18 to go out was way too much. But yeah, I would never wear a dress out. But now here, I do that. Like, <laughs> to work, I used to never wear dresses. I used to always wear like, I, wear, I would wear like skirts, shorts, pants, all of that, but I would never wear a dress. And recently, I started wearing dresses at work as well and to go out, wear heels to go out all the time. Yeah, also the dresses I wear now, it's bodycon. When I was in Portugal and I wore dresses like during the day to go out, anything, it wasn't bodycon at all. It was like always a line or a skater uh, skirt type because I wasn't really comfortable with my body, but right here, right here. But right now I'm comfortable with my body, so I wear bodycon stuff. Oh, I think another thing that changed during my three years living here is that I my OCD became extreme. Like, it's now at the point that it's extreme. Like, my room back in Portugal used to always be messy, but it was like a messiness that I knew where everything was. Like, if I needed to get something, I knew where it was, but it was messy. So I started tell like, at the end, I started telling my mom that she would like, clean my room like vacuum and everything but I would dust it because she would when she did it she used to move things around so I started doing it but here right now it's to the point that it's too extreme like everything has to be lined up my photos up there are not lined up and it's killing me right now so I have to figure that I have to like fix that out but I can't because I don't have my camera here my my, my mom is gonna bring it back to, from Portugal but yeah everything has to be lined up everything just like everything has to be clean and organized even at work like I'm a pain in the ass in the, at work because everything has like all the bottles have to be like with the label facing up facing not facing up facing <laughs> facing the person like facing the front. The bottles have to be lined up and even at the fridges everything has to be lined up and the labels turned for the client to see. I think that's pretty much what changed in three years of living in the UK. There might be more things and if I do remember them I would like a part two of this. I should have like written down the things and then filmed the video but I just wanted to film so I just like I thought to myself, oh, I'm gonna think of the things while I'm filming it. And now my video is a mess, but it's okay, because you're used to it. I'm a whole mess, but I'm an organized mess. <laughs> oh my god, I am an actual mess. So that is it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell so you can get notified every time I upload. Comment down below if you've been living abroad for how long and where, because I want to know. And yeah, that is it for the video. I will see you on my next video. Bye!